Hey, I'm Rita Cook. I'm Terry Murphy. And we are ECP TV. Thanks for joining us. How are you? Doing good. All right. So we're going to do two weeks worth of stories this week because we've been traveling, or I've been traveling. You haven't, but you've been staying home. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to. Okay, so first of all, I think this is already something we talked about in the past. This affects you. Ferris is lowering its property tax rate, which is good. And this is budget season, so all the cities have to have everything done for their new fiscal year, October 1st. So everybody's crunching. Um, but it says that this is combined with the mandated Senate Bill 2, lowering um, the main maintenance and operation side for fiscal year 2024 by approximately 0.25 or 33%. So $500 per year savings to the individual taxpayer on a $2,000 home. So that's cool. That sounds good to me. Yeah, so that's awesome. Um, I think there was a serial abuser that we had mentioned. Mm. What what was the story on that dude? Uh, his name's Roger e Rog Robert Edgar Parham III. And uh, he got 50 years in prison. In Ellis County, then, to yeah. the courts there. Aggravated assault with deadly weapon. And apparently he had beat his girlfriend and made her say that it was an ATV accident. And then um, she said that, which, I, you know, sometimes you're like, well, why would she do that? But, you know, sometimes you're fearing for your life. But then her family made her go to the police. And then he yeah. fled. And they found him at the... Um, Texas Mexico border and that was a cup that was last year and so now finally he is in jail and it's like you know nobody should be hitting each other I don't care how mad you get I don't care people men and women women do the same thing and he's done it before yeah it he's a serial like. let's fly the word cereal right um, has nothing to do with cereal <laughs> that you eat yeah. yeah that anyway okay it's yeah crazy ellis county covid replay was one of the articles that i wrote and it's like please do not do this crap again um a lot of people are saying they had they're getting covid and we don't even know for sure if the covid test there's been too much water under the bridge with this story that I could not get Methodist Manfield or Baylor and um, Scott and White in Waxahachie to contact me back. The dude from Baylor Scott and White in Waxahachie asked me when my deadline was and then disregarded all the other emails. So it's like if the, if the hospitals can't let us know what we're doing, they can't give us some numbers. Ellis County's not playing this game. No, I think people are tired. Of it. I, think, I think the United States is not playing yep. this game. So there was somebody, a uh, Red Oak guy, who shot and killed someone? Yeah, there's police, as far as we know now, they're still looking for a suspect. 18-year-old uh, was found dead around the 200 block of uh, Troy Lane mm -hmm. the other night. And well, they, it's actually it was about a week and a half ago now. Ago. Yeah, we just we haven't heard if the suspect was found because they usually you don't put a press release out about that, but it's still important that you do. I'm a, when I'm doing my PO job, I put press releases out about that because... You want to hear the good side, too. The police are doing their job. There's a lot of people that are tired of police right now because we're seeing a lot of negative. And they are, the ones that we're seeing on the camera are being bullies, but that's not every police officer. No. So, um, you know, we need to keep this balanced. Wilmer, um, the fire department just bought, let's see, what was it? Uh, Defibrillators. And, and medical technology manufacturer yeah. Stryker, they purchased emergency medical equipment for this. And uh, the classes to learn how to run. Yeah, and then 43 um, staff actually took CPR classes from Stryker, so that was a positive thing. I've never taken CPR classes, have you? No. But I would not know how to save your life. No, I'd probably hurt you more than that. I know, it's, it's, but it's really important that somebody know it. Okay, we won't go into down the rabbit hole because we're going to do that on In Lies the Truth, hopefully. Last, this week, what's the news this week? Everybody, when you pass by that road on Red Oak, is it 70? It's not 77. What is that road that goes to... From yeah, Fair, okay. well, I think it turns in 77. It's like, guess Google. You know, there's this huge million, jillion acre it's land. Huge. Well, they've confirmed that it's Google plans to invest more than 600 million in a new data center. So that's... Google is just really getting involved in this part of the, the city. Yeah, and they're giving Ellis. a lot to the city, too. Um, yeah, didn't they have a Red Oak ISD received a $150,000 grant, um, a Google grant. No, it's $150 million, isn't it? No, well, just the ISD grant is $150,000. Oh, okay. But there's, we're talking millions about what Google's bringing into Texas oh, as okay. far as, but no, for no, $150 million, that would That'd be, buy a lot of schools. you could probably build some new schools. It would be yeah. more than the bond some that they've been trying to do, <laughs> right. But they're going to um, put the money toward the STEM expansion and the Learning Center Library, but this was an interesting one that I noticed, and I don't remember this back in 
when we were in school, but it's called three, si, th Suite 360, includes lessons on positive behavior, effective communication, growth mindset, relationship skills, responsible decision making, and self-management, as well as guided interventions for all students. That's awesome and all, but aren't we learning that? We learned that at home. Like, you get your butt kicked if you don't have the ability to handle your, I don't know. It just, it seems like we're really coddling kids these days. I know that's probably a real conservative thing to say, but it's just, I think parents need to take some responsibility for why the, stu the teachers are not the raising the children. No. And this is what they're trying to turn it into. And they get a grant to do it. Yeah, but that's just one of the things. I really love the fact that they're going to upgrade the library. Um, the Pioneer Days in yep. Wilmer, what's going on with that? Uh, it's September 15th through the 17th mm -hmm. uh, in Wilmer, the Pioneer Days. It's going to have a carnival, food, rides, entertainment. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be fun. And uh, there's already been like six different um, newspapers throughout the Dallas like throughout Dallas that have picked this up so there's going to be a lot of people there this is a big deal for Wilmer it's their yearly you know fall festival um, people friends and friends in the town of Italy are looking in Italy I say because that's how they say it here not Italy are looking for um, a gentleman or it could be a man or a woman that hit um, their friend his name is Bailey Carmack he was coming out uh, making a turn onto 77 and 308 between Italy and Milford and it was about 8 a.m. at the beginning of the week and somebody hit him and he's in very bad condition at the hospital and there's a there's a two thousand dollar reward for any information helping them figure out who did this um, the gentleman that got hit was on his phone with his um, I think his girlfriend or his wife so there could be some video footage and I hope that they that that's uncool man that's just bad yeah. bad news okay what else do we have um, did we get some numbers that we were kind of talking about at the beginning before the show? Yeah, about we talked about it a little bit last week. About Ellis County yeah. cities named fastest growing home prices, six of them. Yeah, um, we're number 23 in Ferris. Yeah, and then Maypearl is number six. Italy is number 24. Midlothian, number 28. Um, Ovilla is number 13. And Oakleaf is number seven. And this was taken from Zillow information between May 2022 and May 2023. But I was just a little bit, um, I was a little bit uncertain about if the person that puts this together um, really had the numbers straight because they were talking about North Texas and there was a couple of cities that I recognized from Houston which is not considered North Texas in any survey I've ever seen. <laughs> I get for what it's worth. But anyway this area out here in Ellis County is really really growing. Yeah. Um, to the point of, I just want to make a note to everybody that I'm going to be doing a movie called Hopeless in Texas, and you might be helping me with it. But um, and we're going to shoot it out here in Ellis County, and we're going to start fundraising and all that for it um, probably next month. And it's going to be featuring Ellis County. There's been movies featured here, like um, Places in the Heart, and I can't even remember. I think they may have shot some stuff out here for the, that show Chosen, the one with Jesus mm -hmm. and all that in it. And then uh, probably Walker Texas Rangers yeah, definitely. been through Texas Ellis Walker County. Ranger. Yeah, and then Yellowstone. The that everybody loves um, that that's actually was shot yeah. around here too anyway so the movies are amazing I'd like to be the Ellis County Film Commissioner but I'll have to talk to the powers of be about that and I don't know if they'd think I was good at it but I think I could be we'll find out <laughs> all right thanks and it's nice seeing you Mr. Terry yes. um, and I'm Rita Cook Terry Murphy and we are ECP TV <laughs> thanks for watching